This has its place as an easel, but it's not really that portable. In this video, I'm going to show you how I came up with my own version of a portable sketch easel. When I was looking for ideas for a do-it-yourself, easy, lightweight, portable sketch easel, one name kept coming up. James Gurney. Now, I knew the name because I watch his videos. He's an amazing artist and his channel is full of good information. Everybody's design seems to be based off of his design. And mine's no different. I'm going to show you how I made mine. So the first thing I needed to do was find some wood. I had a scrap piece in the basement, so that was done. The second thing I needed to do was ask a really nice friend to cut it for me. My piece of wood was reclaimed from an old bookshelf. It was roughly about 14 by 11 and a half inches and 5 eighths of an inch thick, which made it absolutely perfect to fit the uh, dimensions of the tea nut. The wood was cut down the center and then the broken edge was cleaned off. Some things you will need. A 3 quarter inch spade bit so you can countersink the tea nut various other size drill bits, a hammer, a screwdriver, a T-nut with a quarter inch thread, and adjustable torque hinges with screws. And some really strong neodymium magnets. Using a pencil, mark the placement for the hinges. Drill small pilot holes and then use the screwdriver to screw the hinges into place. Find and mark the center of the top of the easel. Use the spade bit to drill just enough to sink the head of the T-nut. Then finish drilling the hole with a regular 1 quarter inch drill bit. You're now ready to hammer the T-nut into place. Having the T-nut on the inside of the easel ensures that when you attach it to the tripod, you will constantly be pulling the T-nut towards the wood instead of pulling it away from the wood. In order to get the pallet to close all the way, I would have to recess the hinges, but that would involve adding extra strips of wood to the outside of the pallet. I didn't want to go to that trouble, plus I thought it would be a good way to store my sketchbook inside the pallet. However, the screw that adjusts the torque on the hinges hits the plastic on the other side of the hinge. So here I'm drilling a hole in the plastic of the hinge so that the hinges will close more. Now it was time to drill holes just deep enough to set the magnets into the wood. After the holes were drilled, I glued in the magnets. So I have these little containers that I keep in my tool bag. And what I like about them is that they connect. So that got me thinking. I could use it as a water cup. Finally, I removed a mixing tray from an old paint tin and now I had everything I needed. Travel paint tin, water cup, mixing tray, two large clips to hold my watercolor journal, and a magnetic clip to hold paper towel or a rag. Now this, I can manage. You can support my channel by subscribing so YouTube will share my videos with more people. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you ring that bell, you'll be notified every time I post a video. Thank you for watching.